The halving is a huge deal. The Bitcoin halving is in less than 25 days. There will only ever be 21 million, but not all 21 million have been issued to the world yet. And even though there is a fixed supply, Bitcoin is on a fixed issuance schedule. Satoshi programmed when he launched, he or she or they launched Bitcoin on how those would be issued out. And most have been mined. We're at about 19 million out of 21 so far. And every 10 minutes, more and more get issued. And the halving is when that issuance schedule gets cut in half. Meaning there'll be half as much sell pressure on the network. So the supply, the forced sellers, those that pay money to produce Bitcoins, which then have to sell it to pay for their costs, that's gonna be halved. And so the really simple way to think about it, Ed, is if demand remains the same and the Bitcoin sold gets cut in half, it should have an impact on the price to the upside. So it's a big event. Here are nine altcoins that will 100X before the halving. And while Bitcoin is inevitable, it's just the natural evolution of money. You go to work every single day and you pour your blood, sweat, and tears all of the time you spend on this planet in exchange for what? Money. Watch this whole clip. It's about two minutes. Crypto is just the next step in money after we'll talk altcoins. The Strike CEO, Jack Maulers on Bloomberg, they can make more real estate, they can find more gold, but they can't make more Bitcoin. So right. the central planning of money convolutes and complicates so much of the inner workings of society. Let's go back to basics. Our government is in debt, right? Yes or no? The US government, that is. What all governments, right? Our government's yes. in debt. Okay, traditionally, Ed, if I owed you 20 bucks, I'd have two options. I'd one have to default on that and say, you know what, Ed, I hope you still consider me a good friend, but I'm not gonna make whole on that $20. The other is I could pay it back. Those are classically the two options that anyone in debt has, right? Now, the government, because they centrally plan and control our currency, unfortunately has a third, and that's that they can print more money, devalue the debt that they have and that they owe and allocate more capital to themselves. So our government can't default. The US, the United States of America cannot default on debt. It would collapse the entire planet. We also cannot afford to pay it back. So if you just like, listen, I didn't even go to college, brother. This is just 101 basics, how the world works. If we can't default and we can't pay it back, What's the only option that they have to do? No matter what they sit and tell you at the Fed chair meetings and all of the economists, they have to issue more dollars. And so if there's going to be more pieces of green paper, you want them competing for the most fixed thing, right? There's more right. dollars that are competing for a fixed amount of Bitcoin. And, Jack, and yes, real estate's going to go up too because there's more dollars competing for real estate, but they can make more real estate. They can find more gold. They can't make any more Bitcoins. And that's just, I mean, even a college dropout can understand that, my friend. Yeah, let, let me jump in and again, just reiterate that your, your, the basic of the argument is that there are only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoin. And the, the, yes. the finality of that, what, what am I trying to say? The, the, the supply constraint on that is what will provide up with momentum. So Bitcoin truly is my savings account. I'm losing purchasing power with fiat. I'm gaining purchasing power with Bitcoin. Look at the US, our broad money supply increases at about 7% annualized since the 1960s, diluting everyone's savings, everyone's chasing yields, and no one knows what the monetary policy is going to be in four years, much less 10 or 20. With Bitcoin, we know exactly what the supply will be. Everyone can verify it. And Bitcoin is disinflationary. So as of this halving, it's going to become harder than gold. Right. And with every halving, the American dream is getting cheaper in terms of Bitcoin. My dream home once cost like 600 Bitcoin, and then it was 100, and then 50, and now it's approaching single digits because Bitcoin will continue to reprice everything in the existing system. And it's giving a lot of young people hope that they will be able to provide for themselves and for their future descendants. With fiat, they can't do that anymore. Also keep in mind, this is the one, two, three, fourth halving in Bitcoin's existence. There are 32 halvings in total, with the last one happening around the year 2140. So even if price-wise nothing or minimal price action to the upside happens 12 months from now because of this having this supply shock, which does affect price, will happen over and over and over and over again. So what has life been like for Sam bankman fried behind bars? SBF to receive his sentence on Thursday, the former FTX CEO faces up to 100 years in prison should the judge hand out the harshest penalty. 
Right now, Bankman Freed is awaiting sentencing, which is scheduled for March 28th. But since August, before his trial started, he's been sitting in a Brooklyn jail. The jail Judge Lewis Kaplan once described as not on anyone's list of five-star facilities. Um, and it's long been criticized for its poor conditions. Yeah, his living space is similar to a dormitory and he's sharing it with other inmates. And according to our reporting, he's also been giving out crypto advice to the guards. Yeah, although he is not doing any crypto trading himself, but he is trading something else, which is fish. Yeah, specifically packets of mackerel. Yeah, they call them Macs, and apparently they're the go-to currency uh, within jail. Yeah, and his mom wrote a letter as well saying that, you know, her son has been helping other inmates prepare their defenses and helping people study for their GEDs. Prosecutors are asking that Bankman Freed get 40 to 50 years in prison um, and also have to pay over $11 billion in fines. Meanwhile, Bankman Freed says he's innocent and he plans to appeal. And looking at recent altcoin news, Godzilla. I'm Dr. Disrespect. And I'm playing Off the Grid, a next-gen battle royale from Godzilla Games on the Unreal 5 engine. By the way, this channel will always disclose I'm invested in these coins today. Most other channels won't share with you. I will. And I am not saying that any of these altcoins will 5x, 25x, whatever, by the next halving. That would be irresponsible. But whatever projects make it to maybe the 10th halving in 2048, or future halvings down the line, they'll do much more than 100x. Of course, with high reward comes ultra high risk. Any project in crypto theoretically can go to zero at any time, so never invest more than you're willing to lose. And click subscribe. We drop one video every day keeping you informed. The news today, we are thrilled to announce that Gunzilla Games have secured $30 million in funding this round was co-led by CoinFund and Avalanche Blockchain with incredible support from Morningstar Ventures and Republic Capital. And the visuals are amazing. The best I've ever seen in a battle royale. And it's still in development. And how this affects you? This funding accelerates the creation of Off the Grid and our innovative Guns platform, which is the first blockchain for AAA games that puts players first. Off the Grid is their leader thus far. And we are grateful for the continued support of our amazing partners on this journey to redefine the gaming landscape. Ripple versus Swift. Can XRP overthrow the payments giant? I think what we're doing and executing on a day-by-day -day -day basis is in fact taking over Swift in that you know, we've now signed up you know, well over 100 banks. Some of the largest SWIFT-enabled banks in the world are now using Ripple's technology. Uh, I mean, just last week, we saw a, a, a remittance company who's using Ripple's technology. They reduced the price per transaction to their consumers from $20 per transaction to $2 per transaction, and they saw an 800% increase in usage overnight. That's the type of dynamic that Swift isn't able to support that we're able to address right now. And breaking news for XCAD, partnering with governments. XCAD Network, a tokenized platform for YouTubers to connect and reward their viewers with crypto tokens, today announced it has signed MOUs, Memorandums of Understanding, with multiple governments to expand incentivized Web3 education to millions of people across the globe. So governments are getting involved. And the first agreement was announced to be with Pakistan. And under this partnership, XCAD will distribute and incentivize the consumption of educational media among Pakistani citizens. Users will have to download the XCAD network application to watch interactive educational content on various Web3 topics. Upon completing the modules and consuming content, users are rewarded with tokens. And last thing to note is number one, of course, this is about educating their citizens on Web3. But two, these campaigns will be joint campaigns launched by governments and the XCAD team alongside select content creators from that country's jurisdiction. So first country is Pakistan. It'll be interesting to see the others. And a growth milestone for ZK Link and as a reminder, this is an aggregated rollup unifying Ethereum L2s. Obviously, there are a lot of L2s out there. This is the protocol to unite them all. And the ZK Link Nova total value locked has reached over 300 million. Fun fact, on the top three staked assets, there's 96 million deposited Puff Ethereum with Puffer Finance, 74.4 million deposited wrapped BTC, and 54.4 million deposited ETH. If you're bullish on Ethereum and L2s, 
you love this. By the way, if you're looking for the best exchange to buy, sell, or trade altcoins, join me on Bybit now. Earn up to $30,000 in rewards just for participating with referral code Altcoin Daily. Checking in on BRC20s, specifically Orange Dex, which is aiming to be like a Uniswap, but for the Bitcoin ecosystem, BRC20s, first generation Bitcoin DeFi hub, your fresh route to the BRC20 ecosystem. Congratulations to Orange Dex on their successful launch today. Almost $8 million in total in just two hours, and the price has been holding strong despite early investors getting almost all of their tokens at TGE. So good to see BRC20s making moves and looking forward to what's next. Looking ahead, we are excited to unveil our plans for the future. Orange Dex will be launching top BRC20 projects on our O4DX launch hub, introducing unique initial launch offerings, ILOs, to our community. Furthermore, we are embarking on phase one of Dex and market aggregator implementation, initiating the aggregation of liquidity from multiple DEXs. So aiming to be the one DEX to roll them all, this strategic move will enhance liquidity provision and trading experience for our users, reinforcing Orange Dex as a leading player in the DeFi landscape. And AI altcoin LimeWire growth milestone, we've spent the month building, here's what we've achieved in just under 30 days, over 1.1 million platform users, number of AI assets created, over 1.7 million, NFTs minted, 30,000, and LimeWire tokens burned, almost 30,000. I believe this was just in the month of March. And of course, for a deeper dive on AI altcoins in general and LimeWire, check out the top five AI crypto altcoins for 2024. And if you'll be in Los Angeles on April 11th, come hang out with us for the roast of Altcoin Daily. Ticket prices do go up in a few short days, so link down below for the flash sale. Take advantage.